Hello friends. So we all know that choosing a career in uh, life sciences is a really tough thing to do as there are so many options when it comes to life sciences. Like there are so many branches of life, life sciences. So I, Dr. Abhinaya, will help you through today's video in exploring the different career opportunities after doing BSc life sciences. So before going into the different opportunities, what exactly do you study in life sciences? In life sciences, that is, it is a branch of science that deals with the scientific study of living organisms related to their origin, evolution and different biological trait. So when, it, uh, when you study this, there are different branches of life sciences. Like you can do a uh, bachelor's in botany, that is, it deals with the study of plants. You can do bachelor's in zoology that deals with the study of animals. There is also a branch known as pharmacology that studies the different effect of the drugs on animals, humans and the environment. One more branch that is known as biochemistry. This branch uh, uses the principles or the chemistry principles to the biological processes. Molecular biology, there is biotechnology, there is ecology. Ecology, it studies different organisms and what, how, what and how they interact with the environment. There is genetic engineering and there is also the medicine field. So what should one do after doing bachelors in any of these fields, be it biotechnology or uh, biomedical or be it uh, biochemistry or molecular biology? The main thing that comes up in anyone's mind is what should I do? after the completion of BSc or what career should I pursue after completing BSc. When it comes to opportunities as a job, there are a lot of employment opportunities in both the public sector as well as the private sector. You can take up a job in any of the research institutes in India, be it in the healthcare industry, cosmetic industry, food processing companies and there are a lot of NGOs and startups that have come up in the life science streams and they also offer lucrative salary for the life science uh, graduates. You can also go as a consultant in environment consultancy firms. There is also a lot of opportunities in drug manufacturing companies. This is like the opportunity part. If you don't want, these are some of the emerging job roles. So the first one is microbiologist. You can also go as a genetic counselor, nutritionist, biomedical engineer, biochemist, biophysicist, pathologist, analytical chemist, medical and food scientist, chemical technology, agronomist, virologist, and like I said before, as a consultant in lot of companies and firms. If at all, you don't want to take up a job after bachelor's and you want to study further, then for that further study also, there are a lot of options when it comes to life sciences. The first one is to do master's of science, that is to study MSc after you do your BSc. So in general, to study MSc, you should have completed BSc. So after doing BSc in biotechnology, you can go for MSc biotechnology. But if you don't want to pursue MSc in biotechnology after doing bachelor's of science that is BSc in biotechnology, you can even try for the related fields. For example, if you have done bachelor's in biotechnology, then you can go for master's of science or MSc in biochemistry also. But for those things, you will have to look at the specific university in which you want to apply and then you will have to check their criteria that this much is the minimum percentage and you should have these subjects. Um, as your bachelor subjects and also you should write one entrance exam. So provided if you're okay with all these things, you can even change the subject which is related to your bachelor's field. So after doing masters of science in any of the life science streams, you can get a job as an assistant professor in private as well as government universities. You can also work as a lab technician in any of the labs. You can also go as a chemical analyst, food and drug inspector, as a biochemist, statistician, mathematician, mathematician, research scientist and also as a junior research fellow. If you don't want to pursue MSc, then there is another option that is into the administration side. You can go for Masters of Business Administration. If you're someone who wants to be in the same field, but you don't want to be in the technical side of the field, you want to go into the administration side, then 
MBA is a really good degree for you to do. So once you complete Masters of Administration, you have a, a wider scope. Like you can be in the same company. If you are from the food technology, you can go into the food tech startups or food tech industries, but you can be in the administration side. If you don't want to be in the same field, if you have done food technology, but you want to pursue a career as an administrator in, in, in a dairy technology or in an agricultural field or in, in the pharmacy field, then still MBA is a really good option. After doing MBA, you can go as a manager. You can be a manager in the human resource department. You can be a manager in the operation side. You can be a manager in the product side. You can be a finance manager, marketing manager, and you can even go as a project manager. So the first option was MSc for the further study. The second one was MBA. The third one is B. Ed. That is Bachelor of Education. There are few people who have done their bachelors that is BSc in life sciences, but they want to pursue a career in the teaching side. If you want to become a teacher and teach the students and impart to them the basic principles of science and help them in grooming for the further, uh, further course of their life, and you want to keep teaching as your major profession, then you should go for B.Ed. B.Ed degree is mandatory for a lot of schools. If it is a CBSC school or if it is an ICSC school, then they always demand people who have done B.Ed. So if you're very sure that teaching is the profession, then you can become a competent teacher or you can even become a professor after doing the B.Ed degree. The fourth option is if you don't want to go for MSc or MBA or B.Ed, you can even write few government exams. The benefit of writing these government exams is that you can get a job in the government sector after writing these exams. So the first exam is you can appear for UPSC, that is Union Public Service Commission. After clearing the exam, you can be in the administrative side as well as the technical side based on which exam you have written and uh, how much per percentage or the cutoff you have come up with. Based on that, you can choose a lot of uh, fields in which you can be in the government sector. The second exam is IAF. You can even go for like Indian Air Force. In Indian Air Force also in administrative side as well as the technical side, in the labs also they need lot of people who have done Bachelor of Science in the life science, any of the life science streams. The third one is IFS. IFS stands for Indian Forest Service. Indian Forest Service also required lot of people who have done their life sciences, be it biology, botany, microbiology, biochemistry, biotechnology, or environmental science or agriculture, forestry, all these people, they can appear for IFS exam and they can score a really good mark and get into a really good job after clearing the exam. The next exam is RBI. If you want to go into the finance side or you want to be in the banking sector, then RBI is a really good exam to clear. For medical people to become a nursing officer, you can write this AIMS exam and through that you can become a nursing officer. The next one is there are some uh, openings known as the laboratory assistants. In a lab, they always need a laboratory assistant who is really skilled in terms of technical as well as they have sound knowledge of the different processes that plays a role in the uh, in whichever uh, methods they are using for a particular lab. For that, they always need a laboratory assistant. And there are a lot of laboratories which are associated with either CSIR or IARI. IARI stands for Indian Agricultural Research Institute. So there are a lot of uh, labs which come under CSIR and uh, IARI and all these labs, they require a really knowledgeable laboratory assistant. You can even appear for these exams. And there is one other, two other famous exams. That is one of the LIC. The other one is of SBI. You can write an exam in LIC for AAO, that is Assistant Administrative Officer. And in SBI, you can write an exam for the probationary officer. All these are government exams. And once you clear these exams, you have a lot of benefits in terms of money as well as the job security. So the next one is you can even go for some short, uh, short term technical courses. If you have completed your bachelor's, but you're, you just want uh, to take some short term courses, you don't want to get committed uh, in a long term or in a curriculum type or in a semester type uh, exam, then you can go for these short term courses. 
I have listed lot of short term course courses related to life sciences that are available in biotechnica itself. So the first courses you can go for stem cells and applied regenerative biology global certification course. The second one it is for the CRISPR technology. The third course it has lot of techniques which is related to molecular biology. You can even take a course in bioinformatics methods and tools. There is one course for next generation sequencing. There is a different course for the immunogenic genomics also. If you if you are someone from the mathematics background or the statistics background, then for you bioinformatics and biostatistics online certification course it's very beneficial. For the biochemist protein purification technique certification course it will uh, it will be of very use if you want to pursue a career later in the R&D department of any private firm or any startup companies or any MNC companies also. One other field that is very popular these days is data science. If you have done your bachelor's in life sciences still you are eligible to pursue a career in data science. As we all know that data science has been declared as the sexiest job of the 21st century. So if you have done your bachelor's in life sciences, go for data science. You can even do data science certification courses or you can do data analytics certification courses. And this will help you in, uh, in having a career in, in a company in the data science stream itself. You can become a business analyst or you can become a data analyst or you can become a data scientist in future. So these are the various options that we have seen that you can do after doing your bachelor's in life sciences. So when it comes to the career opportunities in government sector, a lot of people are inclined towards the government sector as compared to the private sector. Then there are a lot of career opportunities in the government sector after doing the bachelor of bachelor of science in the life sciences. Few of them I have listed here. You can go for the testing laboratories. You can be in the research institute of biotechnology seed and nursery organizations, you can go for the banks. There are some life insurance companies and like I mentioned earlier, you can write for LIC AAO exam. For bank, I have mentioned SBI PO exam. There are a lot of government colleges. You can do your masters and then you can uh, clear net exam and you can go for government colleges in, in the teaching side. So there are a lot of agricultural research organizations, botanical survey of India, there, is there are a lot of hospitals and medical research centers. There are food institutes, wildlife and fishery departments. And there are, there are a lot of public schools also we can go. So when it comes to the career industries or the different industries in which you can have a career after doing your bachelor's of life sciences, then there are a lot of options. The first one is you can go for the oil industry. You can go for the agriculture industry. You can even go for educational institutes like it said earlier, be it at the government institute or in the private institute. You can even go for food institutes. You can go for space research institutes. You can go with the hospitals. You can go with the research firms. You can even go with healthcare providers. There are a lot of healthcare providers in India as well as abroad. You can check out the options. You can even go with the chemical industry and the biotechnology firms. You can go with testing laboratories, forest services, industrial laboratories and wildlife and fishery departments. These are the different industries in which you can make up a career. So after doing your bachelor's of life sciences, we have explored a lot of career options. Choose wisely according to your wish. Thank you.